Hello everyone, we will continue that topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class. And in the previous video, we studied that whenever our output is in the full screen mode, we are not getting the buttons in the application toolbar. We are not getting the default functions or all functions in the application toolbar. So what we did, we simply call the method firstly get underscore functions. We got the object of this particular class. Once we got the object of CLSALV functions list class, we call the method set underscore default or set underscore all and we pass the value to true. True means we want to enable all those functions. Now we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode so that if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. So I will put a break point. I will put a break point in the factory method itself and I will run this particular program. I will give the input. I will go to execute. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now you can see currently I am on 78 number line. The object of CLSALV underscore table class has not created yet. And we are passing the data. Whenever I will execute this method, the object of CL underscore SALV underscore table class will create. And you can see the object is created. Once the object is created, we are calling the get underscore functions method. If I will go for this particular class, CL underscore SALV underscore table. And you can see in this particular class, the method get underscore functions. If I will find that method, the method get underscore <coughs> sorry <coughs> functions is a instance method. If we have a object, can we call the instance method? Yes, we are calling this get underscore functions method through this particular object. And whenever we will call this particular method, it will return the object of this particular class. See, as of now, the object of this functions list class is initial, it is blank. Once we will call this particular method, it will create the object of CL underscore SALV underscore functions underscore list class. And you can see the object of this particular class created. Once we have the object, can we call set underscore all or set underscore default method? Yes. If I will go for this particular class, I will go to SC24, CL underscore SALV underscore functions underscore list. Now I will simply go for the method set underscore all because we are calling this method. And you can see this method is instance method. If we have a instance method, object is compulsory, object is compulsory. Is the object is created? Yes, the object is created. And we are passing the value true. If I will double click, you can simply see what is the value x. x means what? True. It means we are setting the all functions to the true. Now we are simply calling the display method. And you can see we have all the functions. 
Now the most common mistake, especially from the freshers, what they will do? They will simply, simply call this particular logic get underscore functions and set underscore all after this display method of the ALV. Just see, you firstly call the ALV display method and then you are writing the logic to set the functions in the application toolbar. So nothing, your functions will not appear. So firstly, you need to set the functions. Then you need to display the ALV by using the display method. So display method should be at the last so that each and everything will be set and after that you can display the ALV. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we checked in the debugging mode how we are firstly getting the object of CLSALV table class. Once we have the object, we are calling the method get underscore functions so that we will get a object of CL underscore SALV underscore functions underscore list class. Once we have the object of this particular class, we are simply simply calling the method set underscore all. And the lastly, we covered the point always always call the display method at the last so that whatever you want to set, it should be set before that. And finally, we have the output. In the next video, what we will do, because maximum people has a query now, we are not creating the field catalog. If we are not creating the field catalog by manual method or SAP function module, and if I want to change the labels of these columns, or if we want to change the positions, how we can do that. If you have manual field catalog, you can prepare the field catalog in that way. If you have field catalog by SAP function module, you can modify that field catalog. But here, the labels are coming from your data internal table itself. So in that case, what we will do, we have dedicated methods. We will simply call those methods to set the column text, whatever we want to do. If we want to change the column positions, we will simply, simply change the column positions. We have methods. We will simply call those methods and go for all those things. So in the next video, we will cover these particular things also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.